the essence of a human being is their soul. Outside of our soul, what are we? We're just rotting flesh. Yes. So I think he's saying, look, uh, because you, you know what, Eddie, you know, you know what's the greatest hell in this world? The greatest hell in this world is to be a slave to your desires. Mm. There is no pleasure anymore when your desires have overrun your world. Now imagine, Eddie, we, we talked about this in the past, but let's reiterate it to make it more clear. If I give you a chocolate cake, you might enjoy chocolate cake. You might enjoy it. And then I make you eat a second one. You're going to enjoy a little bit less. And I force you to eat a third. And I put a gun to your head and I make you eat a fourth and a fifth. Now you're eating chocolate cake and you're in torture. And I, make you, I bring you a seventh and an eighth. And now you're throwing up and I make you eat a ninth. And now just seeing chocolate cake, you're, you're shaking. You don't want the same thing that once gave you pleasure is now burdening you. Why? Because in this life, first you have to suffer. You have to have a desire. That desire is a discomfort. When you relieve that discomfort, then you have this experience we call pleasure. This is in the Quran. For every hardship, there is a relief. For every hardship, there's a relief. The Quran repeats it twice. Because in this life, we're stuck in the cycle of hardship and relief. You're hungry. It's discomfort. It's a hardship. Then you eat. You're relieved. But guess what? There's hunger again. Hunger comes again. It's, it's cyclical. And then you have to relieve it again. And this world, we're stuck in the cycle of hunger and relief. Hunger and relief. However, however, the one who is a slave to that desire, he can't control that desire. He doesn't struggle with it. He doesn't fight back. He doesn't limit how much he eats. He doesn't limit how much he consumes. He thinks that more consumption is better. He becomes desensitized to that relief. So if you're gluttonous, if you overeat, you never allow your body to be hungry. You never have a Ramadan. You never recharge your battery. You know, the Ram Ramadan is a great antidote for depression mm -hmm. because in the west we have a lot of depression why do we have a lot of depression we have too much food and drink we have too much free time we have too much pleasure not enough hardship mm 